What's up everybody, Miss Montana DeLeon here with a very overdue video. I have not been recording for some time now. Um, what I have on my lips is Magenta Pionto by MAC and Funtabulous Lip Gloss on top of it. My hair is House of Hair, the House of Hair hair review that I did. So you'll find the information for that in the House of Hair uh, video. Um, real quick, how to prevent yourself from cheating, how to avoid you know, putting yourself in a situation that you can possibly cheat, is don't have cute friends. Don't have cute, attractive friends. Um, anybody that you think is sexy or cute or is interesting to you, and you know you're in a relationship because it leads to intrigue and wanting to know more, and if you befriend this person and start talking to them and finding out that you guys have similar interests or they do stuff, say stuff, or act a certain way that you adore, that's going to attract you and bring you closer to that person and possibly bond with that person. I have a friend of mine, and he's a very uh, prominent black man out here, and all his friends are very pretty, um, very pretty um, women that are in high places, such as like CEOs of uh, presidents of banks and different associations and things of that sort um, just have held Miss America titles and things like that but he is married with children and his friends are all very pretty and very well educated and six figures or better like and I'm like that's why you cheat so much because you have access to all these beautiful women they're doing stuff that you adore and love and all that good stuff and it's just a recipe for trouble if I see somebody that um that I find attractive I look but I don't look too long I mean I do have eyes so I'm gonna look um so do you have to take yourself out of situations and stop being friends with certain people that you know won't benefit your relationship or benefit your marriage um and let those people go if they're not for you and your spouse let them go they're not beneficial they're just going to make trouble for you don't be friends with people and take people's numbers i tell people all the time there's no need to cheat there's no need to hold on to whoever you were talking to before because nine times out of ten if your current relationship ends on a bad note the people that you were talking to before will still be available single and not married at the time so if it doesn't work out right now, they'll probably still be there. And then on top of that, you'll meet new people that you're interested in. Um, also, um, what was I going to say? It was something along the lines of holding, oh, yeah. Give your relationship a fair chance to work 100% without any outside influence, meaning cut all those friends off that meant your relationship no good, that won't benefit your relationship or help your relationship in any way, form, or fashion. They'll only help you personally. Watch my video called um, Friends of the Opposite Sex in a Marriage. It kind of explains it more in detail, but it also helps you to keep from cheating. Do not put yourself in a position where it's four, room, four walls and a bed nothing but room and opportunity don't put yourself in that position either so that'll kind of help you kind of not cheat you don't want to put yourself in the position to cheat so stay away from all temptations don't be liking people's pictures on Facebook that's just notifying them letting them know that you're interested in their look whether you're trying to flirt or not you just don't want people to know that you don't point out people and be like oh I like you just keep it to yourself you know what I'm saying so many ways to avoid cheating or temptation yeah you may trust yourself and think you just got it all it's the flesh you get weak so don't let it overcome you. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, concerns, or comments about this video, leave it down below in the comment section. If I forgot to add something, I'll put it in the description bar. Talk to y'all later. Love some.